What's the best way to hold on to your happiness and well-being? Let's see what the science says. Hi there, Michelle here from Shell McQuaid TV, where we're helping you find ways to lower your levels of stress and improve your confidence and zest by putting the latest scientific findings to the real world test. Now, unfortunately, most of us have experienced from time to time the strange twist that seems to be found at the end of Happily Ever After. You know that feeling you get when you finally got something you longed for, even dreamed of, only to realise not too long later that not only is it not making you happier, but it's actually starting to weigh you down. I experienced this firsthand when I was about 33 years old, living in New York City with a dream job travelling the world, beautiful family and friends to support me, perfect health and more money than one girl could spend. Problem was, it was all I could do to get out of bed. I was exhausted, stressed out and miserable from having everything I'd ever longed for. Now at first I thought I was just being ungrateful and needed a good kick up the you know where. But once this was done and it still didn't shift anything, I started to wonder if in fact I was going a little bit mad. Then I discovered research by psychologists back in the 1970s with Illinois State Lottery winners. Now these people had won between $50,000 and a million dollars, a fairly positive life-changing event that you'd think would bring a degree of lasting happiness. Yet just 12 months later, it turns out these people were no happier than the people who'd won nothing at all. So what's going on? Well, the researchers found, drum roll please, that as human beings, we're built to adapt to both the good and the bad. Now, while the rate at which we adapt seems to vary between people and situations, there are even a few things it seems we never quite adapt to, the truth is our brains love novelty and we need new things. Now, part of this is tied up with our need constantly to aspire to want more and more and more, but the other piece is just the creeping normalcy that it tends to come into our routines and our lives that causes what was once exciting to us to become a bit ho-hum and every day. So what can you do to ensure that adaptation isn't undermining your chance for lasting happiness and well-being? Firstly, be aware that this is a completely normal part of human functioning. To be honest, I think one of the things that most undermined my happiness over the years was a lack of understanding about adaptation. Instead, when things I'd longed for didn't bring me joy anymore, I'd beat myself up for being bad and ungrateful, wonder if I was going mad, or throw the whole lot out and start all over again. Secondly, Professor Sonia Lubomirsky's research has found that there are a couple of ways that we can slow down and even overcome adaptation to the things that we've longed for. Firstly, she suggests making sure that we are using gratitude and appreciation to treasure those things that make us happy. Secondly, she recommends using a bit of novelty and surprise to keep spicing up those happiness and well-being habits so that they remain fulfilling for us. Thirdly, if it's really started to feel like dross day in and day out, see if you can find a new sense of meaning in what you're doing. And finally, try to avoid social comparisons with others, which will make your dreams seem a little more tarnished and leave you with a long list of more, 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 more to be done before you can finally be happy. Now, if you'd like to ward off a little adaptation right now, try something new and perform a random act of kindness by sharing this video with your family and friends. And if you'd like to discover more of what scientists are uncovering about ways to lower your levels of stress and improve your confidence and zest, then be sure to subscribe or head on over to michellemcquade.com and leave your name and email so you can hear it all first. Thank you so much for watching Shell McQuaid TV. Remember, you are good enough, so don't be afraid to let your light shine. Take care. <laughs> Give me the words, man. Give me the words.